Hello everyone and welcome to the second series of um, Google Analytics brought to you by Uplot. And here we'll be talking about how do you set up uh, Google Analytics or using Google, Anal Google Tag Manager for your website. Um, so okay, let's go ahead. So Google Analytics uh, is actually set up by, with the help of Google Analytics or Facebook Analytics is actually set up by a amazing tool called Google Tag Manager. So Google Tag Manager helps you tag certain places on the website. For example, it'll help me tag this point uh, as an event and help me understand how much of these events are being triggered on the website. But coming to the basics, what happens is you use Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager. So you use Google Tag Manager, Google Tag Manager. How do you teach here? Tag Manager to Google.com. And it is used for you to register or create a snippet of code, which you'd be then be implementing on your website, on the HTML or the backend of your website. And that will help you start tracking. So what you do is you go to Google Tag Manager, you click on create account, uh, write the company, so I'll write Miraficio, which is the website I'm working with. And there you go, so I'll just put the container name. So that's the account, so I'm adding a new account right now. And I had added the account name, the country. Um, I'm adding a container setup. I'm telling them it's a website. And so you can also add iOS application, Android, Android application on accelerated pages, which is AMP pages. And if you hit create and click, it'll give you a service agreement document. I would strongly recommend that you read through it uh, to ensure that you're not falling in under some legal obligations. So after you have accepted the terms and conditions of GDPR, which is a uh, very, very vital thing to look at, uh, you click, so you can choose the language here. You click on yes. And so it's saving right now. Okay, so this is what you'll receive. So you'll receive two page, two pieces of code. Uh, you can modify these codes as well, but this is the default code that you receive. And one of the code is for you to paste as high as possible on the head tag. So there are two tags. So now I'll go to the website and I'll just inspect my website. So there you go. I would see that uh, there's a head tag and a body tag. Now, if I go back to this Google Tag Manager, it says I paste, should paste one of the codes on the head tag and the other uh, on the body tag. So you would see this so a different implementation has happened on this where I've modified the code. So you would see that. Oh yeah. So if you want to look for anything, you just do G tag, and then you would see it is implemented under the head as high as possible as a Google Tag Manager, and you'd see the script under it. So if you see this, Google Tag Manager dot G tag, JavaScript, and it asks for an ID. So now this ID is a unique Tag Manager ID, which is a UA tracking ID, which is generated via when you create your analytics account. So you can get this Tag ID right here. So if I go here, this is my analytics account. And now this is the property. So properties essentially, the website or the application, the iOS or the Android application. So you would see the tracking ID here. So it's UA, the hyphen, followed by 10 digit uh, numeric number dash one. So now this is just serialized. If you have multiple websites under the same account, it's called dash one, dash two, and so on. So if you see, this is the tag tracking ID and it's implemented right here around the head. So this is the head. And uh, it has been configured for this tracking ID. So essentially any data that comes from this page. Now this is an, an application at the page level. So if you want it to be applied to every page, you would have to copy the same piece of code, the same location on all the pages that you have for your website. So that will ensure that all the data that is coming uh, from your website is now captured on a daily basis on analytics. So you can go ahead and use this data to procure or to get more insights about the website. Um, that's it from setting up uh, analytics on your HTML code. So you need some HTML scripting background for this. Uh, in the next session, we'll go through what's an account, what's a property, and what's a view. Thank you for watching.